All right, so for number 10, um, it says use the conservation of energy, and you can see it, use the uh, conservation of energy to find an equation for the speed of a freely falling object that falls from rest at a height of h, okay? So we have an object um, here falling from rest, so it's all potential energy down here, or up there, sorry, um, at a height of h, so this is h from here to here. Um, that is, to kind of restate that, equate the loss of potential energy to the gain of kinetic energy and solve for the velocity. So it's all potential up here, which would mean once it's down here, right before it hits, it's all kinetic. So if the total potential energy is here and potential energy is equal to, um, I'm saying that all of the energy is transferred. So all of my potential energy is going to be equal to all of my kinetic energy. All right, so if that's true, I know potential energy is mgh, um, the weight times the height. I know kinetic energy is one-half mv squared, and it says it wants an equation for v, for velocity. All right, so basically I have to solve this equation for velocity, to isolate velocity. Um, well, uh, I'm going to start with, I have mass on both sides. So I'm first going to get rid of that. I'm divide by the mass, cancels out here, cancels out here. I'm left with gh equal to one-half v squared. Um, now I got the half in there, I want to get rid of that, so I'm going to multiply by two. Um, I have to do that to both sides. Alright, so I have two gh is now equal to, two cancels the half, v squared. And I'm almost there. The uh, last thing I have to do is get just v and not v squared, so I take the square root of both sides, and I have v equal to square root of two gh. Um, now I don't know, I mean, I know g, the acceleration due to gravity, don't know the height, but I'm just going to leave it as a variable. So now this, if I know I have a situation where all of my potential is turning into kinetic, I can just plug in the height, it doesn't even matter what the mass is, I can plug in the height and that will tell me um, what the velocity is going to be, 2gh, square root of 2gh.